Hello to my favorite coworkers. I am going to show you very quickly how to update Microsoft Teams on the desktop app so that you can have the newest version uh, when you use it with students this year. And I'm doing this obviously on a Windows computer. This is a district computer that they gave me and hopefully it will work. And I don't know if it's the same on uh, an Apple computer. Uh, but we will see. Um, you can go ahead and try it and see. So if I were in Chrome, um, this is how opening Microsoft Teams would look if I was just in a web browser. Um, <clears throat> I go to teams.microsoft.com, sign in, and all my teams are on the left, and, you know, it looks like normal. Um, but the desktop version, the desktop app, you, uh, it depends on the computer. I think most of the district computers, it's already downloaded, but um, it's, I like the desktop app that better. Um, so like it'd probably be in your menu here and you'd find it by typing in Teams. And there it is, Microsoft Teams. So it's downloaded to my computer. Uh, if you need to, you can download it and open it up and um, this is what it looks like. So it's just a different app than Chrome. It's its own app. Um, the way that you update it so that it is the most recent version is you go up here in the corner. Um, I have my profile picture, but some of you might just have like your initials or something. So you click on that and you can go into settings. And these two on my computer, these two are automatically checked. Auto start application. I don't want it to auto start and on close keep the application running no when i close it i want it to stay closed so i just deselected those um and the only one i really care about is this one turn on new meeting experience new meetings and calls will open in separate windows this is what i want um so i'm going to click on that uh, we will need to restart teams may or may not need to update so i'm going to close that let me try uh, doing a video chat. So like, let's say I want to meet with my class. So I click meet. And if I meet now, um, it says video isn't working. That's because I'm using my webcam here that you can see me on. Um, but normally, like, that's what it normally is. Like, it's just in the same window. So the video chat that I'm in, the call that I'm in, doesn't allow me to like look at one window apart from another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get that update so that it's a separate window. So I'm going to check for updates. And it says we will check and install any updates while you continue to work. So I can go about my business and work while it's installing any updates. It doesn't really tell me like it doesn't have like a progress bar or anything. So I'm just going to wait here and see if it tells me when it's done. So now it says you've got the latest updates. Enjoy. Yay. Okay. And what I'm probably going to have to do is I'm going to have to close it and then reopen it. Uh, like it mentioned in the settings. It said requires restarting teams. So that's the new meeting experience. So I'm going to close teams and then reopen it. And it doesn't look all that different, but uh, if I go into meet, let's see if it looks different when I do this. Ah, see how it opened in a new window now? So this is the new meeting experience. I click join now. And so now this is a different window than the rest of it. So this where I can like look at my other teams and um, have a different window than my video call window. Okay, so hopefully this makes it a little easier to multitask now that it is updated and um, there's also cool options here too, like you can have together mode and uh, different gallery views and stuff like that. Um, and also when you're in your 
video mode uh, in your video call. It has all of the um, it has all of the options, all the menu bar up at the top, rather than hovering in front of people's faces during your call. So I like that better because it's out of the way. It's not in front of people's faces and um, much more organized. So, so uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.